What's up guys, Sun Alchemist here with Gersh1 and we're back at it again to answer your questions in another episode of For the Greater Whoa. Did we do that last time? Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay, so this is a video series where we answer the questions that our Warhammer 40 40k community that we build on YouTube asks us in the comment section below. <laughs> in order for you to get your question answered, just Comment down below, put question in front of your question because it's easier for us to get through um, the discussion uh, and just get to the question. Um, so the first question that we have is from John McManus. Have you dudes heard anything about 8th edition yet? If so, what are your thoughts? There's an FAQ that GW put out. Um, so I didn't know this up until like a couple weeks ago, but there's the Warhammer community. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to Games Workshop, Dot com. Um, they have a little uh, link to the Warhammer community and they have a bunch of like rules and stuff and like uh, information on things to come. Uh, and I learned from that that uh, there's some new things for 8th edition. So the first, the, one, the number one thing that I, I thought was really cool was that there's going to be um, uh, cover modifiers. So right now instead of like okay so if you're behind cover and you have like a two plus power save um it sucks because like you could be behind the best cover there is it doesn't matter because your two plus armor save is better than the cover so you're going to take the armor save um in the future i think from what i'm not, from my understanding is there's going to be a modifier so if i'm a terminator behind cover and the cover is like covering more than like you know 25 percent or was it 50 yeah 50 or something like that yeah. uh, percent of me then the person shooting at me gets a minus one to their ballistic skills um which is awesome i think it's awesome especially for an orc player because i, I utilize cover um but actually having well i mean it's bad it's bad in, in the terms of an orc shooting because you know What's a, a minus one to my ballistic skill of two? One? Yeah. So I have to hit on a six? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're overwatching now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but in terms of like actually maneuvering your army to get behind cover, it gives me that incentive. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, a Terminator can just go out into the field and like, screw it, come, come at me. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's uh, what I know. Yeah. Another thing that's actually beneficial for you, the orcs, is... Uh, Whenever you charge, whoever charging unit, you know, makes that charge, they go first regardless of initiative. So let's say I've got my Eldar, which are, you know, higher initiative, and I've got like a slow, I don't know, like a slow, slow unit charging in. As long as I do that initial charge, I'm going to hit you first. That's awesome. Now in the subsequent turns, yeah, you got a higher initiative, so then you go first then. But, you know. That's really awesome just because that was another huge thing that would hurt uh, orcs who were supposed to be melee mm -hmm. um, oriented and you would charge in like a squad of 12 boys would uh, charge in like one of your um, uh, the, your grey knights and like the grey knights would just slaughter my guys <laughs> yeah. because I mean you guys have a higher initiative than me. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to get the jump on you. Nope. As you're jumping, we're just going to slice you up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so Mini Wargaming actually put out a video um, uh, showcasing the, what is it called? The new thing that came out. Oh, um, uh, Shadow Wars. Yeah, right? Shadow Wars Armageddon. Um, if you look at that, even though it has a lot of Necromunda rules, there's a lot of rules within the actual game that are probably going to transfer over to 8th edition so i would say definitely check that out mm -hmm. um yeah. yeah i feel like 8th edition is going to move more towards close combat as to where 7th a lot of it was more about you know shooting yeah and i love it i love it uh, if you guys have any more like cool things that you know about for 8th edition comment down below next question comes from uh, Krieg from Borderlands. Will you ever do a live question answering? Probably. Once we get our um, Facebook uh, followers, they're called. Yeah, yeah, followers, likers. I don't know. Followers. Yeah. <laughs> so more, the more people we have on Facebook, the more we're gonna we're gonna do a live um, for the Greater Wa. 
Uh, it was something that we were going to do before, but we want to do it on Facebook just because Facebook has that ability. Uh, well, even though YouTube has it now too, right? Yeah, I think you could live stream on YouTube. Yeah. It, it all depends on when our viewers are actually... Well, no, we only have one day to film, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, next question. This one's by The Angry Marine. Which Primark was the biggest faggoty ass faggot? I'd say uh, Sanguinius. Uh, maybe Fulgrim. It's one of those two, definitely. Yeah, one of those two. One of the pretty boys. The Camel. How many licks does it take from a, from a Dark Eldar whip to get to the center of the Dark Eldar slave? Uh, it depends. Is the whip serrated? If so, it'd be like one, two, three, crunch. Yes. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Anthony Davino, De Novo. Does the Farseer Enclave have any permanent allies? Um, yeah. They're constantly making allies. Mm -hmm. But um, are they permanent, though? Well, no allies are permanent, right? In anything. It always switches. Like, even if you look at um, the Imperium and the Adeptus, well, uh, humans and the Adeptus Mechanicus, um, they still have their little mm -hmm. spats. Yep. The Horus Heresy, those motherfuckers on Mars betrayed the Emperor. Yeah, like half of them did, which was like, surprisingly. Yeah. Well, the main one, the Fabricator General actually betrayed, and he went to Horus' side. Next question comes from Jordan Singleton. Am I writing my question wrong? You guys never acknowledge it. Oh. No, next question. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the Emperor's sword and claw called? And what are the attributes of them? And where are they now? So the sword, Gilliman has a sword. What's it called? I've, I'm actually looking that up right now because then we we do a, we did a 40 facts on the Emperor before. Um, and all that information is there. Yeah, it's all on there. But that was Christmas. I think that was on Christmas. Christmas Day. Yeah. So check out that 40 facts. Um, and you, you'll have it there. Um, next question. Chill Wa. Who is stronger in a 1v1? Uh, Lehman Russ or Sanguinius? I gotta say Lehman. Lehman Russ, yeah. I mean, Lemon Rue, if you're French. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's he's the Primarch of close combat. He's mm -hmm. the Primarch of, like, all things melee. I mean, even though Sanguinius beat down a, uh, was it a demon? No, it was a bloodthirster in combat and he like broke his back on his knee that's pretty badass but i still got to give it to lehman russ he was called the emperor's executioner for a reason yes fox butt <laughs> how strong is your normal orc compared to a human super strong mm -hmm. like i'm sure you can get the strongest human on earth right now which would probably be um gilford godfrey <laughs> and you would put him against an orc not a chance. No, if you put the second strongest human, Danny DeVito, even less of a chance. Yep. But those guys are hella strong. Yep. Next question. Uh, I have one from Kamen Rider Ant. Do you like cheesesteaks? Love cheesesteaks. Yeah, I have those at least once a week because there's a, there's a place in front of my uh, job that sells cheesesteaks. Where do you go? Sonic or the other one? Bona. I've never been there. Yeah, Philly cheesesteaks. You know who has, who has good chili feast? Uh, blah, blah. Do you know who has those good steaks? <laughs> who has them? Uh, Arby's, surprisingly. I've never been to Arby's. I've only been there been once. Arby's? I've only been there once and I got a shake. <laughs> so, yeah, I've never been to Arby's. Their shakes are good because they have that mint Andes uh, chocolate. But you don't like mint shake. Mint I, I'll, I'll eat mint. I mean, it, it, it's, it's like, like brushing your right, teeth. Right, it's like brushing my teeth, but I'll, I'll eat it. Uh, yeah, but I love cheesesteaks. Speaking of food, Grush P asks, will my dough rise again after I defrost it? Yes, it's gonna take a little longer, but um, yeah, so what you wanna do is you wanna get your dough ready, put it in the freezer, and then you have to let it thaw, and then it will rise, but just expect it to take longer. Thanks for asking that question. Nobody ever asked about pizza dough. Mm -mm. Danny Vey, how did the Alpha Legion betray the Cabal? Well, there was a there was a an agreement between the Cabal, which was it's like it's the secret organization of uh, aliens that wanted to destroy chaos. Um, but their or their uh, what was it? What did I just say? 
You wanted to destroy chaos. No, but they're... Secret organization of aliens. No, what's the connection? The Their alpha... contract or there whatever? There you go, there you go. Um, <laughs> was that the Alpha Legion would help Horus kill the Emperor. And then they were like, nope. Um, because what they were going to do is they were going to steal the gene seed from some planet, maybe. It's all fuzzy in my mind now. Um, but instead, the Alpha Legion came in there, stole that gene seed, and instead of giving it to Horus, they kept it for themselves. What are they doing with it? The world may never know. Next question. This one is by William Aimley. I'm currently working on the lore and building the models of the second and the eleven legions. Ooh. One is very loyal and the other is rogue. Yep. I would like to figure out how to create my own videos to slowly leak their lore over time. I hope my versions of the legions will be enjoyed by others and maybe inspire them to create their own versions. Versions? <laughs> uh, Games Workshop will thank us later. Do you guys have any ideas how I can leak their lore that would bring out the curiosity of the masses of 30k and 40k? Anything about the Lost Primarchs, people are going to want to uh, learn. Yeah, or... they're going to flock to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, creative ways. Maybe get in touch with the Warhammer community and have them, you know, do some blogs or something. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, make your own website. Go to blogs, um, mini wargaming forums, stuff like that. That, that's probably the best way to leak it. Like, go through all the forums. So, like, Daka Daka, Mini Wargaming. Uh, 4 Chan. Uh, yeah. And then... Pornhub. <laughs> slowly, like, leak your information. Um, but in terms of a video, just be straightforward. Mm -hmm. Don't beat around the bush. People don't like that. Because a bird in the bush is worth two in the hand, or so they say. Yes. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, on to the next question. Oh, by the way, um, thanks for your question. <laughs> Keith Parrish, if the Necron and the Tyranids manage to wipe out all life, would the Chaos Gods dissipate and the warp settle back down to just being energy, like in the time of the Old One? Yes. Yeah, because I think that's, isn't that what the Cabal, you know, the, the organization of the aliens that we were just talking about, isn't that like one of their prophecies? Um, that everything will die out and everything will go back to the age of the old ones. Mm, they weren't specific as, uh, as to whether they were going to kill the chaos. They said that they were going to defeat the chaos, but does right. that mean that they never come back? Or if it reverts back to how it used to be, or they get rid of the warp altogether? Not sure. Yeah. But um, our interpretations, what would happen if the Necrons and the Tyranids killed all life? The, oh. Yeah, chaos would slowly like dwindle to nothingness, mm -hmm. and the warp would just become like streams instead of the oceans that they are now. That's that's a very good interpretation. It's I very think. it's very romanticized. I think I might cry. <laughs> Roberto Pompa. Ooh, Pompa. Have you guys seen the If the Emperor Had Text to Speech device series? No. Uh, I I. So we 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 had this um, discussion discussion a while back. And for like a good day, I binged watch um, on some of them. So I know a little bit. I know who Kitten is, but I'm not caught up or anything. I've only seen the Slide Marble one, and I've seen the very first one. So you you have seen some? Yeah, a little bit. I really like their their whole thing though. Um, so kudos to what's his name, Bruva Busa? Yeah, Bruva Alpha Busa. Yep, All Might. Will you guys ever bring back the old school bits, Pokemon Magic, etc.? Maybe. We we brought Hero Clicks back for like a mere two battles, and you guys hated it. You're like, "Where's the 40k vids? What is this shit?" So we maybe. got death threats in our mailbox. Mm -hmm. We got um anthrax sent to us. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. It was the worst of times. It was the best of times. <laughs> we laughed. We cried. <laughs> we we danced all night. All night, all night. Next question. Lord Inquisitor. BBW Latina porn? Damn. Also, uh, 150 boys? What? That is a small army. My Nid army, I counted last, has double that in Termagants. Oh. Well, you can't compare an Orc horde versus a Tyranid horde because a Tyranid horde Don't doesn't see. matter. Oh. No, it doesn't matter. 
Do you're... orcs sleep? No. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Mm -hmm. Money don't grow on teeth. Because the orcs use that for currency. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But your, your first two questions weren't really questions. They're just kind of statements with question marks at the end of it. Yeah, so we'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. The Fool 6 If you have a power, if you had the power to add a new race, what would it be? Squats. Um, something marine based. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, next question, G thing. Next question comes from Will Kid Zero Zero W. Why does Chaos simply corrupt high rank Tau? Why doesn't Chaos simply corrupt high ranking Tau and alter their greater good goals? Because, because they don't register in the warp at all, so it's almost like demons don't really see them until they come out in real space. Right, and then so in, in that situation, you would have to corrupt them like a regular person in today's world without any psychic abilities, uh, which means that like. You just bribe like, them. <laughs> but how do you bribe somebody that has power over everything? Like Here's you more power. Do you do this? Yeah. Just, yeah, I don't know. George Pantoja. Can the emperor believe that it's not butter? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know what I was still doing. This <laughs> Brother Michael. Rather be immortal emperor imprisoned on a golden throne or be a live Sigmar? I don't know too much about Sigmar, um, but I think the Emperor, like, yeah, he's on his golden throne, half dead, but he's the Emperor, so his mind is probably just, like, all over the place. He's, he's basically the Stephen Hawking of the 40k universe. <laughs> he is, yeah. So would I want to be Stephen Hawking? Yeah. What is he like? Is he, like, the second smartest on the planet? Who, Stephen Hawking? Yeah. I don't know. I think behind um, Guilford Godfrey. Yeah, Guilford Godfrey for sure is number one. I don't know who number two is. Maybe Danny DeVito. Maybe. <laughs> Yog Sothoth. <laughs> There's too many T's and H's there. How many Twinkies can an orc eat before getting sick? Well, for me, it's four. An orc would be double that because he's not human, so eight. Hmm, that's a good amount. Mm -hmm. Isn't that how much come in a box? I don't know. I haven't bought Twinkies ever, <laughs> forever. I don't think I've ever bought Twinkies. <laughs> like, I've, I've eaten Twinkies at a friend's house, but I've never bought Twinkies, like, for myself. Where do you even buy them? Like, Jewel? Probably. Or, like... Like a gas station? I don't like know. Walmart? Probably have a Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Last question comes from Gabriel Mar Marquez. Why the Empire doesn't try to reverse engineer some of their dreadnoughts and titans, etc. So that they may also be able to construct them again. Thanks for your time. You guys are some of the you guys are some of the reason I got into Warhammer. That's awesome, Gabriel Marquez. It's always great to be some of a whole. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the reason for that is because of the religious aspect of um the machine spirit the machine spirit and how the adeptus mechanicus guards their secrets so well to the point where even like the lower end of like the adeptus mechanicus believe that deconstructing a machine is um heresy right mm -hmm. so you shouldn't learn more than what you should you're told by your higher ups, higher -ups yeah. and those higher ups probably have gotten into a cycle where at one point they were lower so they kept that mentality and this idea of the machine spirit is now every uh, with everybody even the fabricator general that's like saying oh this thing is holy don't mess with it um like you wouldn't want to you know uh what's, what's the word like have an autopsy on the pope or something right um and then the same thing is if even if they were to like bypass that and start deconstructing it they don't know what each thing does like Oh, this metal thing and this thing go together, but they don't know what it is. So it's like if we were to deconstruct like a phone, like a phone, um, putting it back together would basically be all memory. Like, oh, this goes here and this goes here, but we don't know exactly what each thing is or does. Exactly. Yeah. Hope that answers the question. Thank you for sending those questions our way. You guys are awesome, and we'll catch you guys next week. That's right. Thanks, and check out us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Snapchat, um, Flickr, um, Grinder, MySpace, Your Space, uh, Her Space, Our Space, um, Outer Space. And then, yeah. All right, <laughs> All right guys. See you. See you. <laughs>
My daddy was a miner And I'm a miner's son He'll be with you fellow workers Until this battle's won Tell me which side 